Welcome back to another episode. Uh, this one is going to go with my four most recent antlerless tag uh, kills that I've done in the past uh, two years. Uh, I was very successful at the beginning part of this year, sometime in October. I was able to get uh, my first double. And last year I ended up taking a uh, doe in Van Buren County. That was a big doe. She ended up being uh, 225 pounds gutted, which is huge. And then I got uh, another one in Scott County. Uh, so basically what I'm doing this one for is, is for the self-filming aspect of it all. Uh, self-filming, it, it's hard. It, it truly is hard. So trying to make sure that you get the camera gear, move the little stick thing all around. You know, it, it's hard. Uh, another thing that's hard too is make sure that you have your, your bow mounted camera pointed in at the animal um, and it actually seeing it. So you'll notice on my Tacticam the bow mounted camera that I have going on uh, as much as I thought the camera was looking at the deer, it was not. So you'll, you'll see those little uh, imperfections in my videoing uh, on these four nothing but does I hope you guys enjoy I want to thank you I hope you guys enjoy and I want to thank everybody for their support uh, I wanted to shoot out a, a, a verbal tag I guess you could say uh, I'm going to tag the, uh, friends of mine uh, G money strong outdoors uh, we've been talking back and forth for a little bit we're gonna be doing some content together someday soon hopefully um, what I wanted to tag him on is one of my doe kills in this video you'll, you'll see it it was super close it was a five yard shot uh, I basically shot her at five yards and my arrow went completely through her left lung and straight through her heart and cut her heart in half. So I want to see if you're up for the challenge, Bunny. I want to see if you're up for the challenge. See how nasty of a bow kill shot you can do on your next deer through the heart. Now, me personally, I never aim for the heart. I always aim for the lungs. Always. Uh, reason being is it's a much bigger dinner plate as uh, the heart. There's more room for air whenever you're aiming for a smaller target. And uh, all day long, if you shoot, if you shoot a deer in the lungs, it's going to go down. So, if you end, I've always considered it, if you end up getting a heart shot, it's pretty much a bonus shot. So, let's see how much you can mess up the next deer's heart that you go to shoot for. And it's gotta be on video. All of it. It's got to be on video. So uh, that's your challenge, G Money. Let's see if uh, what you can do to the next deer heart that you uh, you come in contact with. Um, it was really freaking cool for me to cut a big old chunk of that heart off uh, without trying, obviously. Um, And then still tracking her over 120 yards, which was phenomenal. And there's probably a few out there that'll tell me that I'm full of crap on that, but it's all right, whatever. I I, I tracked it, so. <laughs> um, so other than that, enjoy the episode, and thanks for sticking around. Thank you for your support. If you have a challenge for me that you want me to do, uh, you let me know, and I'll see what I can do. More than likely, I'll do it. 
stay tuned and again thank you guys for your support it's awesome so i always dreamed as a little guy well i i'm still a little guy in this, but, <laughs> but i always dreamed as a younger guy of having my own hunting show my own fishing show so chase your dreams guys it's out there
baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god. That's my very first double. I didn't even know that they were here. So they usually they usually walk on this field edge right behind me. And they these guys they came up right behind me. I didn't even know that they were there. I stood up and I, I just happened to turn around and 15 yards behind me there they are. Oh, two tags filled. Two urban tags filled, baby. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. That's what it's all about. I am now one more tag closer to getting a buck tag for next year. This is, oh my god. That is a big doe. That is a big doe. So, oh, these smokes. I know I double lunged the other one. I'm pretty sure I double lunged the other one. I'm about to get down and look for uh, look for some bloody arrow. The other one that stood around and just watched it. I think I hit her just a touch high, but we're gonna find out here in a bit. Those Spitfires do a damn good job, and I know she ain't going far. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, October 17th. Yeah. October 17th, and it's like 40 degrees out. Oh, I was just thinking I should have probably signed my blind today. I am so glad I didn't because they were bedded. They they had to be bedded back there somewhere behind me or their head in the bed. One of the two. Either way, two tags filled, baby. Yeah, Joe's on the board. All right, so I'm at the shot side of the first one. I can't find my arrow. Um, I did check over on the other one. I can't find that arrow either. I am covered in burrs just everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. But there's good blood over there. There's good blood right here. So I'm going to start tracking mama first because I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that I watched her go down. Um, start tracking her real quick. See what happens. I might also just find the, the arrow just as I. Uh, man there is so much blood here. We're gonna turn this thing around. Right at shot impact. So, there's the stand. There's the, where the first deer was at. There's blood all right here. More blood there. A bunch of blood over there on that tree and log there. Uh, I can already see blood right over there. I'm just trying to find my arrow real quick. Where that first patch of blood was, so the arrow should be right over here somewhere. Let's go see if. Let's go see what we can't find for that other one, real quick. It was 20 yards. So I'm standing right over here on this trail. Okay, so I just found my, my arrow. And uh, we are covered in blood. There is blood everywhere, all right here. I'm really surprised that it uh, stayed in there for this long, but there's a bunch right there. I, it's probably really hard to see, but there's a bunch of blood right there, there. Just found her. That's her, all right. And she went for a ride. Oh 
yeah. Double lung. So, camera died. But here we are. That's a double. My first double. This is Urban Town. Mama ran about, oh, 120 yards. I took off the top part of the lung and I cut the heart in two. I've never done that before, so that's pretty cool. The little one there ran maybe 50 yards. I just, uh, I lost the blood trail after a while because its blood trail matched up with mom's blood trail. And then I just started walking back and I uh, kicked her, so. <sighs> Button buck and a doe. That's Team OO, baby. Outdoors Obsessions, I did it today. Woo! I could have never done this without Hunt Lab, Wild Oak, B&B Shooting Supplies, Zero Slings. I could have never done any of this without those guys. So, thank you. Now it's time to go get them checked in and get them off to the meat locker. Thanks for watching.